Hello everybody, welcome to a new vlog. I don't know what I'm singing. Uh, today is a very random bonus quick vlog because I wanted to mark today as a thing. Uh, today is the time when the uh, police are evidently doing stuff. Today is Tuesday the 13th of February and that means that it is Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day here in the UK and also because it's the 13th Black Panther came out today and we're going to see it at 6.15 and I thought I would just make a little video to mark the occasion because I'm so excited guys because I'm excited for Black Panther of course because it's Black Panther and it's gonna be amazing but there's gonna be an end credit scene and it's totally going to be linking in to Infinity War because Infinity War is out in like two months, which is insane. So, let's go have pancakes and watch Black Panther. Yay! You can't really see, but today I've chosen to go for like blue and black because that's Black Panther. My own makeup is super, super blue. I look like a potato. <laughs> a potato with like a fliff. Fliff? Fliff. Ooh. Oh, what's that behind you? <laughs> Look, it's where Thor was filmed. Wait, is it that side or this side? That side, that side. Look, it's where Thor, Thor 2 was filmed there. Lovely. Who's that I see? Everyone's day's ruined. That is true. This is the earliest I've ever actually started drinking alcohol in the day. 4.30. Blue Lagoon. We're going Hell to yeah! Okay. You what? Huh? <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, I'm almost missing the glass. I'm here for it. Oh my god. I'm here for it though. I like blue, blue drinks. Hello. You're out of focus. There we go. Lucy's drinking. Are you drinking? To be continued. Blue Lagoon, <laughs> lovely. The first drink I ever drank in this place, which was over there. <laughs> Do it. Oh my god, it's so oh, good. Another milestone, when you get your own editor. Do I enjoy editing? If you run out of time, hire me. Oh. That was weird, she's drunk already. You know. Really? You know a boy's got his free coffee. Guys, so you know how it's pancake day and we came to Weather Spoons to get pancakes? <laughs> Our pancakes look great. <laughs> <laughs> look at those pancakes, yes. It's a resin, it's, it's an actual cake. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, they didn't have any pancakes. So we got brownies, they got fudge cakes, but honestly, I'm still here for this. <laughs> We're gonna try and find pancakes at Tesco and then eat them at Black Panther. But, um, That's not even a bad idea though. Like, like, yeah. It'd be so noisy. People would like kill us. It's a freaking crap. <laughs> I know, but like. <laughs> That's a crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking crap. <laughs> Put that on a t shirt. Oh god, okay. Well, we're gonna enjoy this, I'm sure. Not pancakes though. <laughs> They're eating their ice cream with forks. It's called sophistication. Let me just shove this in my mouth. You don't want to like change between yeah, them. Exactly. I don't know what tripod's a good one. Just start a food channel already. <laughs> look bang, look, look bang, look bang. Oh God, it's a yeah. good brownie, it was worth it. Sad about pancakes, but it's a good brownie. Yeah. Just a spoonful of medicine helps them. I meant to say sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this is how true teenagers drink alcohol, guys. Okay. Yeah, but it's alcoholic. Thanks. I feel victimized. <laughs> drink it. Not all of it at once, but drink it. We like to drink with no, that. No. <laughs> we did that in front of Mr. Smart. <laughs> For some reason, Amelia wants me to squeeze the lemon in a drink. It's making me happy. Amelia's drunk as hell. <laughs> I'm asking me in my clothes. Whoa, a whole like three drops. <laughs> it's the elixir of sour. You're gonna look at this and you're gonna be like, I'm not doing this. Get in your brownie. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh God, I've drunk too much, guys. I haven't, I have. Lovely. We're waiting for the bus. Hello. And now I drank too much alcohol. <laughs> no, it's beeping. It's flashing. Oh, it's gonna run out of battery. You're, You're running gone. out of battery. Me. Um, look, Black Panther is in like, what time is it? I've got a smudge. 
That's going to be nauseating for your viewers. What time is it? I always feel Black this. Panther soon. No, 6.15. We've got an hour. It's an hour till Black Panther. It's soon. I'm excited. That's right, we're going to the premiere because we've got tickets. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're fancy. <laughs> One day. Do you want to focus? What if it's already focused and you're just drunk? <laughs> 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 Truth though. I'm mildly tipsy right now, so everything's a joke to me. I mean, that's usual, but um, <laughs> um, it means that in Black Panther, I'm probably just gonna try and make these guys laugh by saying really stupid things at really stupid times. Oh my God, if you talk during Black Panther, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> you're gonna slap me in the face. <laughs> if anyone like shows up, because I, I literally, Beth has seen it. I told her not to even say if she enjoyed it or what have you. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty get, like, I'm pretty sure she enjoyed it. But I've been like, don't say anything. And this isn't in focus, but um, I'm very ready. I'm very excited. And we're going Nando's afterwards. And I'm probably gonna cry just from how beautiful Marvel is currently. Um, I'm ready. I'm not. I'm ready, but I'm not. Okay, bye. Bye bye, Captain. Shut up. <laughs> We're at the O2 and rave. I love you so much. We were gonna get crepes from Tesco's, but it can't be bothered. So pancake day was a success. We had brownies instead of pancakes. Uh, new oh tradition. Um, it's just been a flop. Imagine if we're going to see like something like Den of Thieves instead of. <laughs> it just doesn't play Black Panther and then Nando's is closed. Oh, oh god, we're going in. Does anyone have a bag? Oh, Lucy. And, and it's okay, me too. That's all. Okay. You've seen the Infinity War trailer on the big screen and you said it was amazing, oh, so. Yes, I cried. Yeah. Can I say in, in, in a staff meeting, I cried. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dark. So, um, excited. <gasps> Papa. Oh yeah, we're seeing it in D-Box as well. D-Box 3D. I'm ready. So ready. Um, it's really busy in the O2 today because Kendrick Lamar is here, but um, we're going with it. This is the best angle I've ever filmed in. Oh my god, here for it. Still got the, like, the, the two fingers though. Yeah, boy. Okay, tickets. Here they come. Oh, it's not focused. The pretty glasses. Ah, oh my god. I'm so excited, guys. Look at it. Look at how beautiful my silly world is. My friend was telling me there's new screens here showing like adverts for the new films and stuff, and I'm really excited. Oh, they look beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my oh my god, they are beautiful. She's saying you're gonna love the, the warnings at the start. That's a really good one. Oh, look at that. Look at those screens. They're new and they're pretty. It's so bright. Unlike my future. <laughs> Look at that. They're all the way round. Wow, I Tonya is a great film, recommend. The film's about to start. It's currently the trailers. As I shall see you after the film. I'm so excited. <laughs> Breathe. Hey. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> also, so we have like a, a gap between our seats. Oh, I can't really show you that. There you go. Lucy's just there because someone booked next to us. But we want a D box. Okay, bye. See you after the film. Yeah. People at the front of the screen. Yeah. Yes. Just taking pictures. Yeah. But um. Can you arrest them? Uh, what? I look like a weird skeleton. Snapchat. Coco who? <laughs> I looks like I just took an orange <laughs> and put it in my teeth. We really out here in Nando's. We in Nando's. We in Nando's. <laughs> this is no. We breathe the same air as Tom Holland, not clickbait. Oh my god, yeah, Tom Holland was here, but we didn't find him. He probably already left. Yeah. I love him. But that's kind of fake since you haven't seen I know, don't tell. <laughs> 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 and I got something different for the first time in my life. I got thighs because Bethany here always gets thighs and I made 10 chilies on my Nando's card. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Here for it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Black Panther was stunning. Uh, I'm quaking. I fell down my seat at the after credit scene. I should have filmed this. You really should have. Because I, when it was coming up to it, I couldn't like disguise it anymore. And I was like, you're gonna die. Because I saw you kind of go like, what's the start? Um, then I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh. I should film it. And then you kind of like were sinking. Just you should just recreate it now, yeah? What I did, right? 
wasn't even sitting there like looking at me like this. So I prepared myself by doing this. I did this. I clung to my leg and then I just slowly ah, started falling down until I was like. I fell down the seat basically. <laughs> I never actually watched any trailer for Black Panther except from one where I didn't really register what the Black Panther looked like, like the new version because obviously I know him from Civil War and all the merch at the Disney store is blue and black so I dressed all like blue and black because I didn't realise that it was actually purple and black so we're pretending I'm a vibranium there you go uh, I'm gonna eat this chicken as you can tell I am back in my uni room and I just wanted to like end this little little surprise video with my brief and spoiler free thoughts on Black Panther. First of all I will say uh, I personally do not hold it as my favourite ever Marvel film. Don't fight me, uh, this is just my personal thing, I just preferred Ragnarok which um, I think is one of my favourites. I don't actually have a favourite favourite. I'm currently re-watching them all and then I will make my decision but that is not to say that I didn't incredibly 100% enjoy Black Panther. It was stunning from its visual beauty to its diversity. This one felt quite a lot more equal in a sense of the main characters which just made me very 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 happy and also the women that were in it were empowered. There wasn't a love arc kind of, I mean there was but not in a way that was like that was the plot, it was just like a side thing which made me very very happy because we all remember Thor and um, Jane. The entire cast were amazing, the costumes were stunning, um, it, it, the effects like were amazing. Plot wise I really really enjoyed it because there wasn't this big alien threat which kind of calmed us down before Infinity War and obviously after Ragnarok. So this was a nice step away from the alien villains and more of a like a current world problem kind of film with great fight scenes and beautiful technology which I'm very, very excited to see play out in Infinity War. And I really hope that Tony Stark, Rocket and Shuri, I hope they all meet and like have a little discussion about technology because Wakanda, they got it going on, okay? I got it going on. I really enjoyed the film. Um, it's made me so unbelievably excited for Infinity War. Um, there was a trailer for Infinity War before Black Panther played and I was just sitting there like, <gasps> I'm ready. Now the one thing that I'm going to spoil, so if you don't want to hear the spoiler, then I shall put a screen card here when you should click to, to when I'll stop saying the spoiler. But the second end credit scene, so you have the first one, which is a Black Panther one, which is kind of like a da da da, cool, Black Panther's amazing, and then Black Panther will come back, and then it's like in Infinity War. The second end credit scene uh, obviously has to tie into Infinity War, considering we get it in less than two months. Um, and I just kind of lost it. Bucky. Bucky walked onto the scene, he, he he came out, I won't tell you exactly what happens in the scene but Bucky was there and he wasn't frozen anymore. To see him in the end credit scene made me really happy because Sebastian Stan is also one of my favourite actors so I fell down my seat, my heartbeat like tripled and I almost started crying behind my 3D glasses. I once had a guest come up to me in the Disney store and say who's your favourite superhero Barbie and let me tell you I got angry. Uh, no, I just kind of was like, no, actually, it's Bucky. And this person who evidently thought it'd be a joke to be like, oh my god, you're a girl, you like Barbies, you don't know what a superhero is, replied to me, who? And I was like, are, are you kidding me? You just asked me a sexist question. I gave you a literal answer of Bucky Barnes, and you were like, who's that? So, um, I didn't know I had so much investment into the MCU until like last week when I realised that. I haven't been able to really think about anything else. Every opportunity I get, I'm like, who's gonna live? Who's gonna die? I'm trying to work it out in my head. I'm reading my book on the comics and trying to work out if they're gonna keep with the comic ideas and stuff. Like, the fact that Mantis is literally a god and like, 
she isn't in the guardians hopefully she will be at some point i don't want to say anything specific because i don't want to like jinx it like if i'm like oh yeah loki's totally not gonna die he's totally gonna die um but i'm pretty confident i'm gonna have to say goodbye to loki in infinity war and i'm just gonna sob i'm gonna cry um i'm very excited this went very off topic from black panther but black panther was great if you haven't seen it yet go and see it it is stunning and it's great for its diversity of showcasing not caucasian people which i loved like literally i think there was two white people in the whole film finally marvel like making something that is diverse and showcasing more equality and showcasing that the mcu isn't just whitewashing which they did for doctor strange but hey doctor strange still a beautiful film i will be seeing black panther again and i'm gonna try and get it in super screen because that would be stunning Yes, that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please do not forget to subscribe just here and also click just here if you want to see my reaction to the Infinity War trailer because even though I was so, so over the top and loud, that is genuinely my reaction. Like, that is genuinely what Infinity War is doing to me. So, go and click that. But until next time, bye!